What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to graph parabolas in the simplest form right here. f of x is equal to ax squared, where a right here is just a coefficient, it's just a number, and it's positive or negative, okay? And this kind of tells you the story as to how you graph your parabola. So if this is a positive number, your parabola is gonna open up like that. And if it's a negative number, it opens down like that. Okay, and the other thing to keep in mind is if the number is bigger than one, your parabola gets skinnier, which is also called a vertical stretch. And if your uh, A number right here is between zero and one, so if it's a decimal or a fraction between zero and one, your parabola actually gets fatter, which is called a vertical shrink. Now, if either of your numbers over here are ever negative, the same rules still apply, it just flips your parabola upside down like that, okay? So let's start with this one right here. f of x is equal to 6x squared. So our a number right here is a positive six, right? It's positive, so we should expect it to open up like that. And it's bigger than one, so we should expect it to be kind of skinny, right? So in order to graph this, all we need to do is make a little x, y table like that. And some easier numbers you can plug in for x are normally gonna be negative one, zero, and one, okay? so. We're, we're gonna plug in these x values for x and see what pops out for y, or f of x. And for your table, instead of y, you can also put f of x right there if you wanted to. Uh, so plugging in negative one, we're gonna have six times negative one squared. And then here for zero, we're gonna have six times zero squared. And then for positive one, we're gonna have six times one squared, right? So here, negative one squared is equal to positive one. So positive one times six is equal to six. And then uh, zero squared is equal to zero. So zero times six is equal to zero. And one squared is equal to one. So one times six is equal to six. All right, so we have our three points right here. So now we can plot those really quick. Okay, so our first coordinate right here is negative one, six. So negative one, six. And then at zero, zero at the origin. And then one, six, right? So one, six. Okay, so there's our three points. Now you just play connect the dots like that, and there's your parabola, right? So it's what we expected, right? It's pointing up like that, and it's pretty skinny. Okay, now a couple things you wanna be able to identify on any parabola is the vertex and axis of symmetry. So the vertex is always just the lowest point or the highest point on your parabola. So here it would be the lowest point, so it'd be right here, right? And with parabolas that are in this form right here, your vertex is always gonna be at the origin. It's always gonna be at zero comma zero, okay? And the axis of symmetry is just a, a vertical line that basically splits your parabola in half and it always runs through the vertex, okay? So your axis of symmetry in this case would just be this line right here that runs over the y-axis, okay? So this line right here over the y-axis is at x is equal to zero. Right, along the x-axis, it's at x is equal to zero. Okay, and again, that's the axis, and I'm just abbreviating, axis of symmetry. Okay, and again, the vertex, right, we said that's at zero comma zero. And then the other two things are the domain and range. So the domain uh, is always gonna be the same for all of these. So remember, your domain is just the numbers from side to side, right? So it's always gonna be from negative infinity to positive infinity. Or you could also write it as all real numbers like that, okay? Either way works. And then the range are the vertical kind of limits, right? Like that. So the range in this case would be, well, our lowest point is right here, right? At zero comma zero. So the lowest point is at zero and then it goes all the way up towards positive infinity, right? So we could say from zero and we put a bracket, right, because we're including zero, and then all the way to positive infinity. Okay, or the other way you could write it is by saying y is greater than or equal to zero, right, because all our y values are greater than or equal to zero right there, right? So here, either case works also. Okay, and then lastly, here we have g of x is equal to negative two-thirds x squared. So here we have a negative two-thirds. This is negative, so we should expect it to open down like that. And uh, two thirds, that's between zero and one, right? So we should expect the parabola to be relatively fatter. Okay, so again, we can just make our little x, y table and plug in those easy numbers again. So we're gonna plug in uh, negative one first for x right here. So we're gonna have negative two thirds 
times negative one squared. And then for zero, we're gonna have negative two thirds times zero squared. And then for one, it's negative two thirds times one squared. All right, so again, negative one squared is equal to one. So one times negative two thirds is equal to negative two thirds. And then here, zero squared is equal to zero. So zero times negative two thirds is equal to zero. And here, one squared is equal to one. So one times negative two thirds is also negative two thirds. Okay, so again, we have our three points. So we can plot those. Okay, so our first point right here is at negative one, negative two thirds, right? So negative one and then negative two thirds. So about there. And then we're at zero, zero. And then we're at one, negative two thirds, right? So one, negative two thirds right there. Okay, so again, we can play, connect the dots like that, right? So we were expecting it to point down and to be kind of fat, right? So that definitely checks out. And then again, our vertex, like I said, it's always gonna be at the origin right here at zero comma zero. And then the axis of symmetry is still running right through the vertex, okay? So it's still at X is equal to zero. Now for the domain and range, the domain is still the same thing. It's gonna be the same thing for, for all the parabolas. So it's always gonna be all real numbers, okay? And then for the range, right, this, these are the vertical values. The range is a little bit different in this case, right, because our limits now go from zero down to negative infinity. So you could say that the range goes from zero, right, and we're including zero, to negative infinity, or we could say that y is less than or equal to zero.